my channel my name is Makeda um, and today we're going to be doing a video on my everyday makeup look I have two everyday makeup looks um one where I don't wear no eyeshadow and one where I do wear, I do wear um, eyeshadow which just have gold shimmer on my lid which is most likely does be my highlight and uh, today I'm gonna be doing one with the gold on my lid it's because I feel it to be bronze and goldy um if you see my look in here it's gonna look in my viewfinder which is aka my phone because I'm using my phone because I ain't got money to buy no camera. So yeah. Anyways, I was trying not to look see if there's most of a video I'm doing, so it kinda awkward. But yeah, um starting this video up ghetto. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. But the fun thing about today's video is I'm going to be showing you like all my little I don't know if it's tips and tricks, but it's basically tricks on how to like get like the most affordable bomb looking makeup. Because one, I'm cheap. Two, I'm cheap. Three, I don't work anywhere, so I have no money to buy an expensive ass schnitz to be doing my makeup. So I want to make ghetto ass makeup tutorial, even though it's, like, it's ghetto. So yeah, I'm just rambling on. So yeah, let's just straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is primer, and I got a steal for you. Um, so. This comes that story. So yesterday I went, no, yesterday, no, Saturday. I feel it was on a Monday. Saturday, me and my family went um to be local, like we just supply store called Pennywise in Trinidad. And I wanted to get some new skincare because I found this comes like rare break that I run out of all my skincare that I have. And um, I asked the girl to come and I was like, well, um, I'm gonna buy some expensive. Well, not expensive. I was gonna buy some Neutrogena and thing like that. But the woman, the woman I was talking to, she was like, um, you could, yeah, but I tried this and she was showing me like different things and she was like, I don't really waste some money on expensive skincare because she find these cheap ones that do the same thing. So she recommended this and, and some other things I would do. I would save the fast skincare routine because I now, start, I now start using them and I don't know how good it does work. So I want to like, keep, keep using them before I like recommend them to all of you. But this one, instant results. So she first showed me this one as a moisturizer and she said she's used it under her makeup because it's makeup face very matte. So I was like, found the um mascara, ma moisturizer that matte. I was kinda confused now. She said she said oh, it, has, it has fade her um dark mats. Sorry by talking real fast, I'll try to slow. I just talk real fast. Um so this is the Nuni Vanishing Cream. I don't have autofocus, so if you can't see, I'm sorry, but yeah, that and it just how white, it kind of thick cream. Um, this was like like fifteen dollars TT, which is equivalent to like two dollars US. And it's a thick, it's just a thick cream, um, and it's put onto your skin after you wash, after you cleanse your face and tone. And I put it on. I was like, oh, this really moisturizes. And after that, all of a sudden, I started to feel like a tightening feel. And I was like, whoa, this really matte. I was like, I would, I don't really like it. I still use it on a, um, at night. But I don't use it by itself at night because it is a bit too dry for my skin. So I was use this first because it's a vanishing cream, so it's get rid of my dark marks because I have plenty of dark marks. And yeah, so I was use this first and then after I put Cetaphil over it so that give me the moisture. But under my makeup, the first time I'm gonna be using it under my makeup, but I, I could already center it to be like a good matte fine primer, you know, and my makeup because how this gets so matte and I am oily skin. But this does not um, fill in your pores, so I will be using I had a primer to fill in my pores. So yeah, that was a whole long story for no reason. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this. And I'm gonna put it already cleansed and to my face and everything like that already. So you rub it, yeah, and if you like, oh yeah, more size and then after you just like it get real mat. So gonna do that. Oh I'm so mad. So I'm just gonna remember this because girl, I'm not really mess. I'll see if I can link the um this down below. I don't know where you'll get it, but I'll try to if I find it, I will link it down below. I don't find it on Amazon or something. Right, so now that I have that on, I'm gonna put on my pore filling primer. And this is the Elegil Pro Prep HD High Definition, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna put that where I have large pores. I'm just gonna so now for eyebrows. I just take forever to do my eyebrows, but I just want to show you what I just use because it's kind of ghetto, like it's real ghetto. 
but yeah so i might do my eyebrows off camera but we'll see so so embarrassing i use this is my spoolie yes this is a clear mascara i bought from jordana i have a new one here it's looking gunky because i was using my eyebrows from jordana literally like what two dollars us again and i just like when i finish with the brama when i finish with the mascara i just take it out clean it off and my sister like benefit from it and now it's my spoolie because one down here don't have good spoolies i just i don't like the spoolies i don't like the, the it's just ridiculous i don't like spoolies and i don't have money to be boring no. Maybe in the future I will be able to like buy a real spoolie, but for now this will just this will just seem like fine for me. So I just spoolie up my eyebrows, and yes, I have no eyebrows. I know I'm well aware. And for my eyebrow gel pomade pencil, whatever, I use a pencil. Like I just have a local beauty supply store. So anyways, again, um, it's a She Makeup Dark Brown Waterproof Lip Pencil. It's in dark dark brown. And it is so perfect for my eyebrows, so and it's like one dollar, like this is like ten dollars city, like so cheap. So yeah, and I use um just a normal tweezers, just a tiny tweezers at the bottom. And yeah, and I, again I use the um you know, clear mascara as my brow gel and it's work. Like, no. It is work just the same. So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows um somewhere right here on camera, but I doubt I could do it. I'm gonna scoot you a little bit because that's all yeah. Um, let's see. So I'll underline the bottom first. And then, so I just kind of outline it. And then I just put it in. I do the real slow career. Not too slow, but slow. Career. When I rush it, it doesn't end up being like way too dark. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All right. Okay, so we're back with the eyebrows. Right. So, after this now, after you're filling the eyebrows, um, I already tell you, but the clear mascara, it works the same way. It's like you just hold your eyelashes and hold your eyebrows. So I just kind of... So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Mixed with the Jordana Complete Coverage Concealer. I mean, Concealer the Jordana Complete Coverage maximum coverage in one concealer and foundation it looks like this this is a more luminous hydrating foundation and this is a more matte foundation because I already have the matte primer and this ugh, and I feel kind of dry right now I don't, I don't know my skin to be too matte so I can make it together and plus this is very orange and this is very like a little bit lighter than my skin tone and I'm more a little bit skin tone so I'm going to take it with my perfect shade and this is for these two together is maximum coverage so I don't even need to um cover my, my dark spots so i put that on my face and then i put this on my cheap ass sorry my language mommy i'm sorry don't, don't be back to me oh this dripping on my face okay on my cheap beauty banana sponge i get it some um makeup artist teacher actually that was dripping on my face i get it some makeup my makeup artist teacher i went to a um, makeup course just to Get extra. I already know how to do makeup before I went to the course, but just to get like actually sell oranges, just to get like extra, um, like practice and see if her tips will be um, better for me and like from, and to help me with my makeup journey. So I went to the course, learn for yourself. I feel like a good guy. If I'm just watching YouTube videos, everything she teach me, I already basically already. So, and plus, she, everybody has their own makeup techniques, and I didn't really like her technique. Her eyebrows and iron powder. Like, she's cake on powder, and I just. No, no, no. So, yeah, I put foundation over my eyes and on my eyes here because I don't wear concealer. I know, I know, I don't wear concealer. Like, I used to wear concealer, but not anymore because I feel like one it does give me a flashback 
and I just need some more to blend out my neck because it's kind of orange. Yeah, you know, um, it does make my get flashback, and two, I feel like my makeup does get cakey or faster when I use um my mirror right here. That we're looking at right now. Oh, I just touched my eye. Yeah. My makeup does get cakey and faster when I use concealer, so I just do use it like I wish I could have cake it on because I like to see what it like swipe it up and then but the more concealer I use, I like I could be just using a little bit like right where I have darks mark right dark circles right there. But like anything more than that, I just get a white cast, I just get like flashback and I just knock you when I take flash photos and when I don't use concealer character I touch it to make sure I wasn't just going crazy. It doesn't look this like this is actually looking like not that orange. When I look up here, it's like a little orange. Mm. It's not that orange. I promise you, it's not that orange. Uh, when I do without without concealer, no flashback, and it looks freaking bomb. My makeup look bomb. So I just use concealer anymore. And I just use it. So you said I use concealer, it's to clean up my eyebrows. Basically, my eyebrows be looking right. This one looks much better. Look at me. It looks like I'm using a foundation is because I can film, but I need that for coverage. Even though it's an everyday look, I like to be full coverage. Every day. Yeah, now back to the sponge. Yeah, so I get it from her and the makeup. Yes, yeah, so I get it from the makeup class. And it's good. This one actually good i don't know where she's getting from so i can't link it down below i'm sorry but the real techniques one real good the only reason i'm not using the real techniques right now okay but the real techniques better than this one this one kind of hard it's not as hard as once i feel but it's kind of hard but my real techniques okay now that i finished pouncing the foundation for the past half hour uh, okay so the side will look the same about it much of my skin right um so i don't use concealer as i said before so i just going to set my face so um to set my face i was watching this girl called britney britney something what's your name i'll see if i can put it around the screen i can't remember her name but yeah she also i always like I, I buy a powder a brown powder to set my face but i always find it was like still make me look like too light when i was in public now nah. so she put a video um using the black opal the lock finish powder in 05 deep and it's bomb but it's a little bit too rough me just like l'oreal weight like on the orange side so if i use it by myself i'll be looking like real orange so to help that i just mix this sasha buttercup powder with this powder and it's like my perfect skin color. I still want to try Laura Mercier, but I don't got any points. So for now, I just just use um, this. Ooh, wow, that one. I just use this contraption. So if I see any part into my face, you can either use this flat up brush. It's the Morphe G T D set. You can use that, or if you really want the like maximum, maximum um, set, you can use back your sponge. And do it. So I never did that before. So I'm not gonna do it now. And be like, I'm not gonna do that. I can't have that before. So I just take any powder in the brush and just stamp on it. In the so you can see it's like the perfect shade for me. So yeah, just don't forget the neck. In section, I don't know if part of my office, but I'm ready to set me. Okay. Over my eye, my eyelids as well, just a second. Okay, so there's already the base looking. Um, I went to contour one time, and then um, after contour we go to the eyes. So to contour my face, I use the Elegant Pro Face High Definition Press Powder in the color Coco. And I take the Morphe G40 brush. G G4040. And it looks like this. It, it's small but it like I don't know. I just I just realized this brush this brush to um okay so I don't say plenty to get this powder, it's kinda of that. 
Or the first already. I will. Then I just take back the powder brush and I go over it. It's just to get rid of any hash. Okay. So now we can move to the eyes. So for today's eye look is super, super simple. Um, I'm going to be using the Matthew Palette by Juvia's Blades. <laughs> and I feel like Miss Juvia I don't know if I knows me because, girl, this purple. His name's Makeda. That's my name. And if you don't know who Makeda is, Makeda was the queen of Sheba. And she was, she was, I think she was deemed the most beautiful woman in the world. So. Thanks. Thanks, mom. Okay. I'm oh, sorry for being so extra. Sorry. Right. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to get to it. I think I so I'm going to be taking the color Zulu. Zulu. Yeah, Zulu. It's like a orangish brown. And I just gonna pop that in my crease real quick with a Morphe M521. I start using all this Morphe. I have a brush, but it is easy, so that's why. But yeah, Morphe M521. If you watch it, it's sensitive. Um, but it looks like this. I love this brush to freaking that. But if you just want to know what blender brush from um, the drugstore, Kala, C-A-L-A, does make real good brushes. If I'm trying that in uh, Wonderful World, and they really love how the blenders have, I just asked them for the blender brush. It does look for the blender brush. Um, next video, I'll show you, because I'm really, I'm really not feeling to get up. But, so, I'm just going to use this for that color. The excess. I'm just going to put this into my face. Like, real soft, you don't have to be neat. They just like the sun definition of my eyes. Like, I can't even see because I'm so different. Like, almost the same color of my skin tone. It's a little bit more orange. I'm put that into your face. So you could, you know, if you could see, because it kind of has come a little bit. And for I go into highlight and um, actually no push back pause. Right, my another tip slash hack um, is the Sasha Fix It Spray. Um, they just take container they're using this. What inside of here is water and rose water. No, yeah, rose water. And I put in extra water because rose water don't really smell the best. It smells kind of cool. Yeah. But so I just mix it with um water so to dilute it. Rose water is literally like six dollars, two dollars, and so it's like one dollar US, like so cheap to get at any drugstore. And it just make it does it don't make your makeup last longer, but it does like when it when it pack, how I pack on all our powder, it does make all the powder sink into your skin and it does make a highlight pop. So um I just gonna spray my face, let everything sink in, and then I'm gonna put on the shimmer highlight on my lid and then my highlight everywhere else. And I drench my face because I could afford to because it's cheap. <laughs> Sorry. Why is it spraying like that? Oh my God. But yeah. So don't move your face while it dries because it will set however your face reaction is. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Good. So now I'm gonna spray my face one more time, but just lightly. I don't that time because I want to take my phone. I want it with powder to sink you, but now I just spray my face so I can get my face a little bit damp so I can put on your head and it will pop. So I just want to see my face lightly very far. That. And I'm going to take the crown brushes and the cut and the, wow, deluxe fan brush. And I'm going to take in the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant palette. And I'm going to take this color here and this color here and highlight it. I'm 
I don't want to carry it that far down if you have large pores, but I just love it. I like so much, I don't care. Oh, I'm going to talk here. Okay, look how it's sweaty. Um, it's not black, but I think it's not green. Oh, it's clean. Um, this is a Rihanna Land Nickel um, Fat Shader Brush. I'm going to take the same lighter highlight. I'm not going to put that all over my my um my lid but i'm going to spray the, I'm going to spray the brush first okay so i think i didn't cut off before but yeah let's take the, the gold from this palette spray it remember you cannot follow so i'll try to hurry up here ah! and i'm placing it all over my lid all over the lid straight into the crease and all And I can take one of the lighter shades and just pop it in the middle. Because I feel like. Then you go back in with your brush. Where you blend with. I'm just going to blend the edges. Like that. Then we're going to add some mascara. This is Maybelline Big Shot Colors Mascara. Again, super cheap. And it's it's okay. My friend is dry real fast though. Like, I just got this. Like, what? It's done already. Okay, so back for the mascara. Um, this is how it looks. If you have any like recommendations of like real good mascara at the drugstore, because I know we can't put them Dior. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have any recommendations, tell me because I find it really difficult to put on and I find it just, I find it dry too fast for when I buy it. So yeah, buy five at the same price item from the site that does give you this six one for free. And this is not sponsored by Pixies Deals. You don't even know who I am. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a pointed brush. It's just a random pointed brush. And I'm going to go back into the highlights. That's what I'm paid. Right, right I'm going to get up. I was like light color as well. So kind of... Right, not my eyes a little bit. Yeah. My mother hates to see this and I put on a highlight. She hates it so much. I don't know why. Right. I find my under eyes looking a little bit, um, I kind of dark a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I just have to up a little bit. It's going to go underneath. It's going to brighten up a little bit. And they just are, um, again, Morphe M4 one brush. And I'm going to take back my normal brush here. Yeah. I kind of pattern this so to look too okay. So yeah, mm, next up, I don't really use blush when I just use a normal makeup look because I feel like blushes make a look more amplified. So yeah, so the next next and last thing is the lips and for lips I'm going to be using the one buck slash six dollars, two dollars. I don't know, like I want because if anybody wants to watch my videos, I want to be able to like tell them how much how much it is I'm going to buy. I uh, know most people from America are all away. It's what they say in the US, so I don't know. But um, yeah, the Nikak auto lip liner in the color, Ooh, yeah, Coco. And if you buy it from, from Pick 60s, if you, if you ever hear about that company, it's an online store called Pick 60s, and this is a dollar on that site. And when you buy, um, ooh, when you buy five. At the same price item from the site that does give you this six one for free and this is not sponsored by pixies deals you don't even know who i am <laughs> and yeah there you finish look you could spray your face one last time because i love this with my face um, Oh yeah, I was supposed to say there's like a dupe for the um uh, rubber the school rose water because it is the same thing. So yeah, let this try and it will come to the look. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, this is a look. Super clumsy. Um, yeah. So this is the end of the video. Um, please leave a like, 
or thumbs up if you liked it please share it to all your friends and family your auntie and your grandmother your pet dog your pet goldfish i don't freaking know just share it um and yeah what else i could do yeah leave a comment down below on what i'm looking to do or what a video type you want to do if you want to do a tag eyebrow tutorial you know, eyebrows uh next makeup look Funny anything you want me to anything you want me to film just let me know in the comments below and tell me how you like the video um yeah <laughs> this was a fun to, to film my first ever video i've been doing so and it was real fun so yeah i think i'm gonna do the next video i might do a um, i don't know i'll figure it out might do a favorite so something but yeah thanks for watching my video again my name is makira hippo wet i'm a channel to be go it's my first ever video and i always want to be a youtuber um a beauty guru doing makeup because i love makeup and yeah i finally get the courage to do it like i always was like okay let's do it let's do it but i never had the courage to do it and i finally get the courage to do it and it was real fun i just forgot i did this video good enough um can i make my mistakes like i talk real fast and i just hope i understand what i'm saying um i would try to talk proper english but it's just not me to talk proper english and i feel like i'm being fake but i know most all of you wouldn't understand what all you mean and all it means all of you all all of you i, I might do a video on all the um trinidad slang so you guys can understand what i say when i say it trinidad slang you know what i'm saying so yeah um yeah again thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye